Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 84. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how DB2 is not logging the start time for archival of transaction log files. This slide talks about the problem scenario uh, and solution. There is no solution, so I'm this I am not suggesting any solution here. So this slide talks about the problem scenario. The problem scenario is the diagnostic log file is missing entries for the start time of archival of transaction log files. A transaction log file is archived from active directory to the archive location. The archive location typically is disk, TSM, user exit like that. Uh, here we are discussing about disk based uh, archival uh, lo uh, logging strategy. So what happens is uh, there will be two separate entries in the diagnostic log file. One is for the start time and one another is for the complete time when that archival begins and completes. Right, but uh, surprisingly, in DB2 Express C edition, when I run the the uh, archival logging enabled uh, recoverable database, so in the Express C edition, in the di diagnostic log file, I find only there is uh, completed time, but it is not displaying the start time. There should be an entry for start time as well. Um, and archival logging is not a restricted feature like like for example in Express C edition, which is a community based edition, free software. So you cannot configure HADR or you cannot create some use some functionality which is of DPF functionality like you cannot create partitioned instances databases or range partition table or like that so because certain features are restricted in Express C but archival logging I don't think it, it's a restricted feature so it should be available uh, any case uh, this is only just the, the functionality works it's just that the the entry for that the the entry for that start time in the log file that that's what is missing so the functionality is working but just it's a very minor glitch i would say uh, so as usual let's uh, demonstrate this particular thing with a scenario here so let me uh, i have a terminal open so i'll start the instance i'll connect to the database this database is already configured with a uh, uh, recoverable like the logging feature okay so let me just show that to you so let me first start the instance and run all these so it's going to take a while so it's not a very powerful laptop as usual so uh, I have started the instance the instance is up and running I mean it's still starting so let's wait for some time okay now it's connecting to health hmon is actually the database name so uh, db2 connect to hmon and uh, here it is db2 get db cfg log out method one so you can see here the log out method is enabled so archival logging is enabled for this uh, database so I'm going to show you first db2 pd hyphen db uh, hmon logs like that. So let us run this command. So this will tell me what is the current log file. So you can see the current log file number is two two dot log. Okay, so I'll show you that. Okay, so here you can see zero and one. Okay, so two dot log is the current log file. Uh, so let me run a couple of uh, SQLs. So here I am just running 750.sql which is going to insert 750 records into the database. Uh, so it's going to take some time to run that. We have to wait and see. Okay. Okay. Now the second time also I am running it. So once I run this, you'll you'll see that the two dot log file will uh, will be archived so you can see here like see zero and one is only available in the archival see two has come now here right so two got archived right uh, okay so i'll run the logs command so you can see that the current log number is three which means two got archived uh, and moved to the archive location directory right so i'll show you that here yes so it's there now I will go to the db2 dump directory home db2 sql lib db2 dump ok so here is the dialog file that I am talking about so you can see in the dialog file see usually sorry see there is a completed log file entry right s002.log right so but there is no start entry for this so we will we'll do a simple search also I will show you that also control C uh, control F 
control e enter see that is the only entry there right so surprisingly we don't see there is a start archive log file entry in the express c edition uh, why i say that is so i'll show you that as well so here i have uh, a diag log file of esc edition okay which i have taken so you can see here i'll show you the same thing there will be an entry for okay let's do a find okay so control f C O M P L E T E D. Okay. Okay, I think this is not a good word. Uh, A R C H I V E. Archive. Okay, I think this is a good word. Okay. Archive. Okay, this is also not a good word. Archive log. Okay, here you have. close this so you can see that there is a started entry right and there is a complete entry so whenever you see that see here i'll copy this and i'll paste it okay so you can see that for every completed there is a see, there is a for every completed there is a started also okay i'll do another find okay see started archive 001 completed archive log file 001 so for every corresponding completed there is a started entry right but this is not there in the so this is diag log of esc like enterprise server edition it's a trial version i installed and i just took this diag log file you can see in the express c edition i showed you that it is not there so i'll show you that file again now so we can do the same search okay see there is only completed there is no there is no corresponding start entry above right so that is the one uh, is a minor glitch so it's not like a show stopper or something uh, hope this information was useful to you please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy uh, see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye